Uchi of Tucheye and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make a pillowcase cover. Now, I'm making one for a pillow that measures 18 by 18 inches. And it's going to be an envelope styled pillowcase. So, first thing we have to get right is our measurement. So, I'm just working with a pillowcase that measures 18 by 18 inches, just like I sketched there. And we're going to have our front pieces and our back piece now the front just because i want to leave room for seam allowance and i want the pillow to sit perfectly well in the pillowcase so that way i have one cm on all four sides as my seam allowance so my front is going to be 19 by 19 inches now going to the back piece because i am doing the envelope effect which means the opening is going to be in the middle not at the top or at the bottom right there in the middle so first thing i'm going to do is divide the measurement into two 19 inches is our regular length so we're going to divide 19 into two which gives me about 9.5 and then i'm going to add an extra four inches to the 9.5 you can add as long or as short as you want it to hopefully this tutorial will serve as a guideline so you would know how much um, opening how much space you want to leave in your opening so that is going to give us 13.5 inches and I'm going to be cutting out two pieces of it so now our front measurement is 19 by 19 inches we're going to cut out one piece and the back measurements we're going to cut out 19 by 13.5 inches in two places so now let's get right into it this is the fabric I'll be using. I'm using a mix of two different of two fabrics so that way you can see um, the contrast. You can just see what it looks like. I love to play around with fabrics when I'm working. I could have used just one, but I'm going to use two. So I have my chalk, I have my ruler, I have my tape roll, and my scissors, of course. So first I'm going to measure 19 by 19 inches on the purple fabric. That's going to be like my main fabric. I like to mark out in more than one place like in two to three places that way when i'm drawing the line i am guaranteed that my line is absolutely straight so cut that out insert it aside move on to the second fabric since we're cutting out two pieces i'm just going to measure out the 19 by 13.5 inches and then fold the fabric into two and cut so that way i am just cutting it directly i'm not doing this process twice i'm just doing it once and i have my fabric let the prep begin next up um because we want a clean finish the purple is our front piece i'm just going to set that aside we're working with the back piece now now all fabrics are front and back so you're going to flip it with the back facing up so the front should be at the bottom and the back should be facing up and then double fold one inch down so half an inch half an inch to form one inch if you're not so sure that your measurements will be accurate just do what i'm doing measure one inch down just like that and then fold and make sure your second foot stops at that line so that way you already know you're folded one inch down one inch is just like a standard measurement um, whenever i'm doing my tutorials or whenever i'm doing trainings i always say no measurement is fixed feel free to play around with it because i'm sure with this guide that i have given you can make a pillowcase for any size of pillow so i'm doing the same on the second one I'm going to fold it down and after that take it to the sewing machine and then just sew it down to secure it in place done sewing this is what it looks like next stop let's assemble and do the final stitching so this is what it's going to look like you're just going to lay it over each other just like that so that is the opening and now i'm going to put the front piece let it face up like the right side the front of the fabric should be facing up and then for the other one let the front face down so it's right side to right side let the right sides of both be touching each other so that's the right side and that's the right side so basically what you're seeing up here now is the wrong side I'm flipping it to the other side so that I can properly arrange it, make sure it is aligned. So let the bottom align with the bottom of the front piece and then the second piece also align. You can use a pin or a clip to secure it in place to make sure nothing moves around 
when you're sewing i'm just adjusting it the way i want and then you go to the sewing machine and sew all four sides after sewing just trim all the excess fabric um, i would advise that you do these little triangle knots at um, notches at the edges so it doesn't unravel and then those corners that have the fold make sure you back stitch over it because you're going to be doing a lot of um that is what you're going to be fixing your pillow through so you need to make sure you double stitch back stitch over it so that way the stitches are secured so just get something pointy and just poke out the edges just poke it out i'm using my scissors if you're using a scissors make sure it's the one that has the blunt edge not the one that has the sharp edge and basically fam that is how you make a pillowcase cover for an 18 by 18 inch pillow the envelope design the different designs there's a zipper there's the one where the opening is at the top or at the bottom but i love this one i think it would have looked better if i had used two different colors of fabric for this flap part so i've looked really unique so i'm definitely going to try another one what am i saying i did another one after did i did five more because the clients wanted six i would post a video of what it looks like at the end of this clip thank you all so much for watching if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do subscribe like share i would really appreciate that see that 18 by 18 inches so it is definitely the perfect fit thank you so much for watching bye